Today we will talking, be talking again about volumes of three-dimensional figures. And today we'll be talking about cones and pyramids. So once again, a pyramid and a cone have a base, and they also have height. How tall is it? Those are the two things that we will need to calculate the volume of these figures. So our formula for the volume of a cone or a pyramid is exactly the same. And I could tell you and go through a really long definition and explanation about why this formula is. That would just confuse you at this point. So right now we're, I'm going to give you the formula and we just have to use it. So it is one-third base times height. Now it looks really similar to what we learned in our last lesson where the volume of a prism or a cylinder is base times height. But because some of that three-dimensional figure is chopped off when we bring it to a single point rather than having two bases, so we have a third. I'm just going to leave it at that. So the capital B again means the area of our base. So let's take this cone. It is a circular base and let's say that the radius is 4. The radius is 4. And the height is of a cone, the tip of the cone to the center of the base. That is the height. That's what makes this a right angle. Let's say our height is 6. So we want to know the volume of this cone. First we need to figure out what is our base. And that is pi r squared, because it's a circle, and our radius is 4. So 4 squared is 16. And so 16 times 3.14 is 50.24 square units. Now we are going to use our formula for volume. Volume is one-third base times height. So here's where you can see we're going to be needing our calculator um, for this. So our base is 50.24 times the height of 6. So when we have a fraction and some decimals, let's do the fraction last. So let's multiply these two together. 50.24 times 6, we get a, a pretty big number, 301.44. Now when we multiply by a third, that is the same as dividing by 3. So let's divide that by 3, and we get 100.48. Now a lot of times your directions will say what to round that to. Let's just say we are going to round it to the nearest tenth. So that is now going to be approximately equal to 100.5 cubic units. Let's do the same thing for our pyramid here. Let's say we have a square base with 5 on a side. So that means we know all of our sides are 5 because it's a square. Then we have a height. So the, the tip down to the center of that square makes a right angle. Let's say that that is a height of 8. So first we find the area of our base. So that is length times width, or base times height. So it's 5 times 5, which is 25 square units. Our volume, 1 third base times height. So it's 1 third times our base times our height of 8. Easiest way to do that is multiply these two together, 25 times 8, which is 200, divided by 3. That is 66.66666666666. Okay, so what we will do is we will round that up to 66.7 cubic units. And that is how you find the volume of a pyramid and a cone. Now go practice.